Hello, and welcome back to Better Minecraft. Now, I do have to explain to you guys what I did in the last video, because you, you guys didn't get to see that. Uh, for one, this is all going to have to load. We'll give it a second. I went all the way up here. There's actually more up that way, but it is loading currently. Um, also, I think Strawboy is dying. He's been doing so for a minute. But here we go. Okay, there we go. Yeah. I explored all of this in the last video. All of that. Another village down in this area. Is that an owl? I'm going to assume that's an owl. Either way. I also got this waystone. Uh, I found a village that I'm going to end up moving to, actually. I'm not going to stay in this very pretty biome. As much as I love this area, it isn't the theme I'm going for for this. As I said in my last server video, I'm going to end up doing kind of like a witchy theme for this. I know Halloween just passed, but I'm going to end up doing a witch tower in this series, so. So I've decided that I'm going to go to the Far Out Village. Which is here. There's actually a lot of stuff going on here. This is an entire village. It has a bunch of quest boards. It's actually a pretty expansive area. It's in the middle of a giant plains biome. There's like some stuff here. There's something there. But I'm honestly thinking I kind of want to go scout out, first of all, what all of these little, what looks to be buildings are over here. And then I want to see what's on top of this hill. Because I kind of want to settle on top of one of these many hills that are over here so I don't First of all, so I don't have the villagers constantly in my houses. Because that's never fun. Okay, so there's one of those. I think that bee just dropped off the planet. I think there's a redwood biome up there, which is actually pretty good. Oh, and it looks like there's another village right over there. Okay, so I'm right here in between two villages. That'd actually be great. Okay, what's up on top of this hill? Because this is also a whole other thing. Doesn't look like anything's actually in here besides the cows. Hmm. Crafting table, there's a chest with some starter items. Hmm. Villages right down there. Not a bad location. Because there's another village right over here. The ruined nether portal that I could probably fix. A village here. I think we found out where we're putting our house. Which does mean that I am going to have to pick up all of my stuff and move it over here. Which is going to be a whole event within itself. Ooh. Let's not do that. Also, in the last video, I'm going to be completely honest with you. A fall like that killed me. It was very eventful. Oh, there's a blacksmith here. I never even saw that. I kind of just touched into this village, I'll be honest with you. By the time I got out here into this village. Oh, hi. Here. I suppose I'll just leave it here, though. So by the time I got here, it was already really late. And I was just kind of looking for a way home. Which is now here. Also, I found this. This was found. Shoot. There's that. It's found in this guy. 
there's like a little tower thing out here next to like this all this meadow and stuff there is honestly some pretty cool biomes out there that i want to explore so just moving my entire base out there feels right And I do have all the saplings from the trees that I used to build this house and stuff like that. Also, uh, quests. There we go. Uh, I started the seasonal quests. I also got the bundle thing going, the miscellaneous. I finished all of these like I said I was going to. I did these guys. I started this stuff, which I have it in my inventory now. I made the jar. I made all of this type of stuff. This is not going to happen for a minute. This, this is... That's an event. I need Silk Touch in order to do all that. Also, Pocket Waystone, not going to happen again for a while. But with the villager stuff, I probably will look into making a few of these. Okay. Now, this looks a little funky. This is not going to be, like, my permanent base. But in order for me to get everything moved over here, I kind of need somewhere to call home. So I have redecorated this place. I'm going to have to do so much work on this village. But the downstairs right now is clear. I still have to get everything over here. So my furnaces and stuff are eventually going to be on this wall. I think honestly I can take this down and everything will be fine. Because the entryway is a little squished. But I've redone the floor upstairs. As you can kind of see from the outside, it looks a little bit funky now. But my entire chest system up here. I can actually move this torch further up. And there is still the little window here. And of course the balcony has stayed. In case I need more space to put stuff. But yep. I am going to quickly set my spawn here, sleep, and then I'm going to work on moving everything else over here. Okay. Last look at the first base. Now I am just leaving this waystone here. I will eventually make another one. And there's one in the village. So I'm not going to be too worried about taking this one with me. Not to mention, it would bring me back to a central area between two of these fortress guys. I'm eventually going to need these. So keeping them around is probably a better idea. So I'm just going to leave this here and go back to the new base. Now, why did I choose to settle down in a village? Besides great area, because in general this area is just phenomenal. Uh, hold on, does that village have a tent in it? If so, I can go ahead and complete another challenge. Look at me eating distracted. Uh, villagers are going to be great to help me access things. So not only is there, like, the bounty boards where if I collect things, they'll give me stuff for it. It's also the fact of I'll just have great access to trades, great access to better items. Just villagers in general are a good idea to have around. Okay, and then this just flows eventually down to a taiga. Yeah, I think I'll settle here. So, to make things extremely easy, I'm just going to place a waystone here. I'll eventually be moving this. I'll eventually give it a cool name at some point. But for right now, I'm going to be living out of the village until I can get up the materials to actually build up the base. Mainly what I need to do next is figure out where I'm going to be putting like a massive greenhouse, which I think this spot here may work. Right along the pathway on the bridge. Take these down. I think I'm going to work on terraforming a bit of this out, and then I can start laying down, like, 
blocking for an actual greenhouse. Which we kind of already have a tiny one up there, but that's more for the villagers, less for me. Love when you can tell I've modified an area to what the villagers originally did. Oh, there's nothing short of chaos in this village. Okay. Eventually, I will restructure this house and probably make it take up this entire corner down here. But for the time being, this will have to work. Alrighty, there we go. I did a bit of restructuring to the area so the paths make a little bit more sense. And they aren't just spread out wildly all over the place like the rest of the village. I've also filled in this cave. There was nothing actually down there, I think, except for a bit of coal. And the villagers kept getting stuck down in it. So I went ahead and filled that in. I'll eventually do something with this space. But for the time being, I just needed it gone so the villagers would stop getting stuck. And eventually I am just going to put slabs and stuff on all of this. So it's actually staircases and things of that nature. But for the time being, this is kind of what we're working with. And I eventually want to expand this, the entire village, eventually put in more housing. Because right now there's a few villagers that are going without houses for whatever reason. Even though I think there's enough housing for everybody, they aren't using it. So. There's also like plenty of, like, this could be turned into a barn actually. Although I am going to shorten this fence up. Alrighty, I've got a bunch of area cleared out. A bunch of pathways figured out. We do have some placement for a barn up here, which means I'm going to be able to get animals. There's currently, I think, a duck. I think that's what that is. Yep, you're a duck. I have a duck in there currently. I want to grab some of the cows that are up top. Up that way. Grab some of those and pull those down here. So that I'll have... Some more creatures over here. I mean, I don't mind the idea of there being like multiple town squares, especially since all this is kind of centered around this tree. Eventually, I want to put like some magical type of tree here. So it makes a little bit more sense as to why the entire village is based around this one thing. Actually, I may be able to do that. Hold on. I actually really like that, that is now a center point in the village. I kind of actually want to take down these bell things now and actually just hang one off the tree because I do have oak fencing. Also, yep, you guys didn't see me actually find the biome with this, which means you guys didn't see me get the achievement for this type of tree. They have Granny Smith apples on them and I got some sort of really big achievement for it. Hold on. Advancements. It's biomes you'll go. Biomes you'll go. Husband tree, and then I got the Granny Smith. I've also got Barely, barely Alive. Also, there's so many... So many advancements when in comparison to those. I eventually want to get, like, some glowstone or maybe even some shroom lights and hang it off of here. Or maybe even some lanterns. But for the time being, there's that. That certainly helps with the tree being more of a center point. Okay, and there we go. You can kind of see how the dirt is growing back. And the boulder has been textured. And due to me adding mossy cobble to this, this stone is also weathering. So eventually this entire boulder is going to have kind of that mossy effect to it. Now, another thing I have to handle. These are not connected. This is two pathways. This is our waystone, but it isn't connected to anything. This is supposed to be like a focal point to the village, and yet it isn't. So I think the waystone may just need to move over there. And then this path needs to actually connect to all of this over here. Yes? Nitwit, are you... Are you the owner of this establishment? That would make sense. 
Seeing as it was built directly over a lava pit. Okay, I've done some repairing to this area over here. I can't do a whole lot because I don't have a whole lot of dirt. But this house is now fixed, complete with a bed inside. I did a really... I just worked with what materials I had, which is mainly oak wood and the stairs and stuff from the leftover roof. I eventually do want to get dirt and fix up the bottom of that. But a lot of this area down here is going to have to be completely re-terraformed anyway. So for the time being, that's just going to... Is that a well? But for the time being, also there is a set up here for like a little bit of a dock. I'm going to take the bell out from here. Because we don't need 5,000 bells everywhere. And there is actually almost fully functioning bridge over here. I'm just going to do this. And this bridge does in fact function. It isn't really needed because we do have this. The advancement made dimension of the bees awaits. Excuse me? What the heck was that? Enter the bumble zone. Throw an inner pearl into a bee nest or beehive. To leave, dig to Y0 or tower up to Y256. Player ridden animals can be brought into the bumble zone by pushing yourself into the beehive with a piston while riding the mob. Okay. Not something I needed to know, but noted. But yeah, I fixed a lot of the pathing through here. And most everything else I need dirt for, which means I'm going to have to go out of my way to dig up some areas. Also, there was another bounty board over there next to that chef's area. So I just moved it over here. Has fishing and butchering. And then this is the original one that was over here with farming in it. And then you have the one that I made, which has cleric supplies in it. Oh. I can just do this one. I guess I can show you guys how these work. There we go. Turn it in. And now I have a spyglass. So mainly your whole thing is leveling up the area. I don't know if it will level up all of them. Yeah. You have to level up each bounty board specifically. So having multiple of them going at the same time is kind of a good thing. I know I have plenty of emeralds back at home. But each one wants different things. So since this one is mainly fishing and butchering, you're going to have mainly items that have to deal with that type of stuff. So coal, meats, things of that nature. This one has to do with farming, so it's mainly going to be farming-based stuff. Oh, I have this one. I can just do this. Boop. So mainly things like seeds. And it tells you the rewards you can get, so you can sometimes get emeralds, you can just get items that you need. Things of that nature. It's basically a trading system for the villagers where you bring them something and they'll give you something back. So it's a little bit more of an immersive thing than just clicking on them and trading. But now that I have a village here, I'm coming up with a lot of ideas as to what to do with this place. All these chef areas, I'm eventually, I am going to keep the chef areas. That is not up for debate. I love the fact that there's so many cooking areas here. But I am going to have to redesign them because a lot of them are in weird positioning. Like this one would be great to be remade into maybe a little bit of like a seafood-esque restaurant. Because it's right here on the water. It'll look great there. Then of course there's two more back that way. So maybe some competing restaurants, something like that. And then of course the greenhouse is going to go here. And this path takes me further back. So, complete area for me to continue the village down this beachway. I can build up a barn here. And then this path takes me further inland as well. But that is going to be all for today. I have came into the village, moved all my stuff in, basically moved into the village and redone a lot of the pathing in this area. So, next episode is mainly going to be continuing on that and building up a greenhouse. So I can go ahead and get croppage going, so I can actually get value out of the villagers I'm now living with. So I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye Oh, hi. You want to be part of the- you want to be part of the outro? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Bye bye